leadership is such a huge part of, of, of what Harvard is about. I want my kids to be leaders in the pool, I want them to be leaders in the classroom, and I want them to be leaders in the community. Many of our student athletes at Harvard are gonna be in positions of, of leadership when they leave school. And if we can start that training process and, and put them in a better place to be successful when that time comes, I think it's a big part of our responsibility, it's something we take very seriously. The, the general sort of ambition and, and um, standards that they have for themselves. Like they, they want to achieve, they want to be excellent, and they're very determined to get there. Do they just focus on the wins and losses? Do they analyze the bout, the, for us, it's you know the matches or the bouts? Um, how, how do they break it down? Is it more process oriented or is it um, more the, the result? And you can tell a lot um, as well that way about kind of what they'll be like as a leader because in talking to their teammates, um, are they going to help their teammates be more process focused or are they going to just be like kind of down on people when they're losing and um, celebrating people who are winning and, and just have it, you know, that simple. My kids, they want to achieve in the pool and they want to achieve in the classroom and they're just as driven in both in both places. And I think that's what what builds or makes up these these kids here are athletes. And, and it's it's fun to see. You know, you could take anyone on my roster and put them in their Harvard Swagger sweatshirt and drop them anywhere in the world. And like, whoever meets that person is going to have a really good impression of, of what happens here, right? It's like a grounded kid who who's humble. And I think that's another thing that's really good. Like our guys are really prideful to be able to put that jersey on and mean something to them, you know? And, and a lot of them talk about that getting that first acceptance letter and how, you know, how booming their pride was from that experience. Like they know it's not easy. They know it's hard. They know it's hard to be, to step up and be in front of everyone. and put yourself out there. And so they really encourage each other when they see someone doing that, um, which I think it's pretty unique and it's really special to Harvard. Not everyone's gonna have the label of what it is to be a leader. Like there's only gonna be one or two captains every year. So you might not be a captain, but you need to be a leader. And I think that's a, a very important piece to our program and and uh, teaching kids that it's it's okay to lead in different ways and how do you lead in different ways. I'm always watching what, what you're doing when when no one's watching. Like, how are you taking feedback from your teammates? How are you taking feedback from your coaches? How are you reacting when you're not having success in the water? When it's not going your way and you're, the coach pulls you out and you're sitting on the end of the bench, how are you reacting? Because I think that's a, a big tell of what a leader is. A leader is not gonna go to the back of the bench and start pouting and crying and woe is me, why is this not going my way? They're gonna be right up there and they're gonna be cheering and they're gonna be encouraging their teammates to, to keep going and fighting the good fight. And I, I think those are some of the things that, that I look for you know, right away when I'm out recruiting.